In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through this Nano Banana Pro ad machine. The idea of this automation is to generate up to 100 different ad creatives from a single reference image. So you would take one of your existing ads or find a competitor's ad that you like, submit it on this form, and then this workflow is going to generate us up to 100 different variants. So as you can imagine, this is going to be very, very useful for an e-commerce brand or someone who's posting a lot of ads um, on the internet because with advertising, you need to constantly split test ads and this is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money. So we're going to go through this today. I'm going to break it down step by step and show you how to set it up. Yeah, let's get straight into it. As always, you can download this exact workflow from my free school community down below. Um, so yeah, head, head down there, join the community. Uh, there's tons of stuff going on there, uh, tons of different blueprints that you can download. But this workflow will be there for you to download. So if you want to follow along while we get this set up, please feel free to do that. But before we start with the setup, I'm just going to show you a demonstration of how this actually works. So when we hit the execute workflow, this form's gonna pop up. I'm gonna just type in a few things. So I'm gonna name the company testing, request Facebook ads. And then I'm gonna upload the reference image. In this case, it's just gonna be a pre-workout ad that I saw on the internet. And then we're gonna generate 10 images. So we're gonna submit that form and just watch the workflow go through um, and get completed and we'll view our ads within our Google Drive once it's completed. But while that's running in the background, I'm just gonna walk through this workflow in a bit more detail. So we have the trigger, which is the on-form submission, as you saw. Then we are actually hosting that image that we put in there on a platform called ImageKit. I'll show you how to get that set up and your API key later on in this video. We're then using Google Gemini's um, image analyzer tool. So we're actually taking that image and describing it so then we can use it in our AI agents later. So then we're creating a folder um, that is basically titled the company name and then what request we want so it'll be like facebook ads for testing if that makes sense i'll show you it all once it's fully done then we're moving to our creative metadata agent this is basically just formatting the data that we got from the analyze image tool and then we're duplicating that data for variants so you can see that we've duplicated the data 10 times after generating different variants and then with those variants, we're actually generating 10 image prompts that we can send to Nano Banana via the um, Google API. So I'll show you how to do that as well and get your API keys all set up there. We're then just converting the images to a binary file and we're then uploading them to our Google Drive. So there's a few different things that we need to get this set up. One being our image kit API key, our Google API key, and then also you're gonna need to set up Google Drive um, and connect that with NAN. We're not gonna go over the Google Drive connection here, but I have actually left a link within this blueprint that you can just click on and view the video there. It only takes a couple minutes to do. Um, but yeah, go over there, do that first. Also, we'll be using Open Router um, for our LLM stuff. So yeah, once this is created, I'll show you the output. So let's just give that a second. So the workflow is just finishing, finishing up. We are uploading the newly generated images to our 
Google Drive within our newly created folder, which I'll show you in a second. But this workflow does take a bit of time, especially if you're gonna start generating tons and tons of images with it. Cool, so the workflow has finished. It's just lost connection for some reason, but that doesn't matter. Let's head over to the Google, my Google Drive. So let's check what we have here. Cool, so just to give you guys a bit of an idea of the reference image, this is the image that we used. So this is image kit. Here you can see the reference image and then let's head back over here and then let's look at the images that it generated us. So Pretty cool, to be honest. You can see how powerful a tool like this would be, um, especially, like I mentioned earlier, if you, gener if you need to generate tons of different ads for your e-commerce brands and split test them, this is going to save you so much time. They all look really nice. Nano Banana Pro is, has done a very, very good job here. Apart from this one, hasn't actually got anything on, but again, with generating these, we've generating these images, um, sometimes they're not always going to be 100% correct or how you want them to be, but that's fine. That looks all good to me. Really, really powerful stuff. So let's get started in actually setting this up. Um, like I mentioned, you're going to need to head over to ImageKit. So ImageKit.io. It's completely free to use. It's just an image hosting tool. Really, really useful for workflows like this. When you're inside of ImageKit, um, you want to head to developer settings or developer options, which is here. And then your private key, you want to copy your private key, come back to this host image node, leave everything as it is, but we're gonna create a basic auth connection. So I'm just gonna create one here. Give it whatever name you want. All you need to do is paste your private key into the user section. The password you can leave blank. It's completely fine. All it needs is the private key here into this user section here. Once you've done that, hit save and that is ready to go. Then we have the Gemini connection. So what I'd do here is I'd head to Google AI Studio, head to the Get API Keys section, create an API key here, and get your API key and just come back to the workflow and just create a new credential and then just drop your API key in to here. Really, really simple. That's all you need to do. So what we're basically saying is in this in this node is just to analyze the provided ad creative so the reference image that we've given it with expert enterprise level precision to extract actionable design principles so the framework's just basically trying to break down and gather as much information as possible from the reference image that we've given it you can come in here, have a read through this prompt. It goes into a lot of detail on the information that we require. Um, so you can see here, comfort zone dynamics, emotional intensity level. It's going to find us and pull out all that information for us, which is really, really powerful in workflows like this. So then we're going to move over to the create a folder. So this is going to create a new folder where our images is, are going to be stored in our Google Drive. So this just keeps our Google Drive um, a bit cleaner, more easy to manage because when you're just adding random images to your Google Drive automatically, you can lose track of where they go, um, especially have, if you have a busy Google Drive. So creating a folder where we can store 
each run um, of images in is really, really useful. Again, like I mentioned earlier, if you haven't connected Google Drive to NAN, just hit this link here and there's you'll be able to find a video that will guide you through the process. It's really, really easy to do. It will only take you a couple minutes. Once you've done that, head back to this workflow. Um, we're just gonna go over the creative metadata extractor. So what we're doing here is we're formatting the data from the analyze image step. So what we'll get from this is just one one text um, block, but this is actually gonna separate that one text block into all these different variables here. So you can see we're just telling it to return this JSON structure. Text to analyze is the text from the analyze and image node. The system message just basically says you're an advertising analyst and a creative strategist, just giving it a basic guideline of what to do. Um, you can see we've added some rules in for it to follow, but feel free, come in here, have a look at this, adjust it as you want to. Duplicate for variants, so this is gonna give us our different variants essentially. So the data that it extracts is gonna duplicate it as many times as we've asked it to. So if we ask it for five images, it's gonna duplicate it five times. If we ask it for 10 images, it's gonna duplicate it 10 times. And then this AI agent is going to compile all that data, all of the inputs and variables and generate us our prompts to send to Nano Banana in the next step. So come in here, have a read through this. You can see it goes into a bit of detail. Um, But yeah, then moving on, we're gonna be sending our request to Nano Banana. So what you need to do here is get your API key and paste it in here. So this API key is here. So grab that from the API key section, the same one from that you used in this node and just paste it into here. Don't worry, I'm gonna delete that API key. <laughs> um, so you won't be able to use that, but yeah, just paste your API key in there and it, you'll be ready to go. This section here is a little bit complicated. Um, it's basically just compiling all of the data um, and sending it and packaging it into a request that we can send to Nano Banana via the API. Um, we're then just converting it to binary objects and then just uploading it to there. But yeah, that's it essentially. Um, really, really easy to set up. All you need to do, image kit a um, API key, get that connection set up. Google Gemini API key, get that connection set up and then get your Google Drive connected to NAN and just go through this, follow it like we've just done, set it up and then you're ready to test essentially. So play around with this, have some fun, let me know what you come up with, um, any ways to improve it. Uh, feel free to edit it as you wish. But yeah, again, you can download this template from my free school community below. And thank you very much for watching this video and stay tuned for more to come.